welcome to my YouTube channel Bio Ishika and this is Ishika talking mostly about IIT Jam which is very important exam for all the biotech aspirants out there. So without wasting any further time let's dig into the topic. So let's see what Jam is all about. So if you have a BS degree you can opt for MS degrees in these subjects mostly and it also offers integrated PhD programs in various IITs and ITs IISC. Looking further for the eligibility criteria, so if you have a BS degree in any of the subject listed here with an uh, with a percentage of 55 and 50 according to your categories, then you are eligible to sit for the exam. It do not have any age limit as such and the foreign candidates can also apply for the exam as mentioned. So basically in this video and in this presentation, you can look out for the cutoffs for the eligibility criteria for the sectioning of the paper important colleges that offers these courses so basically these uh, this presentation has everything that is required so let us go go through this pdf moving on to the exam structure this is a simple exam with 60 question total of 100 marks three hours exam and uh, it has negative marking in one section only we will look into this so cbt mode uh, the exam is conducted so yeah here this is the most uh, crucial part of the of this video where i would be explaining all the section and the questions and as well as the negative marking so in section a we see negative marking whereas in section b and c we do not see any negative marking so section A offers 30 question and 30 question are divided into two parts that is 10 marks uh, I mean sorry 10 question of one mark category and another 20 question for two mark category which is equivalent 30 questions and the negative marking which it offers is for the one mark category question 0.33 mark is deducted for any of the wrong question if you are attempting for the two mark category question 0.66 marks are getting deducted for every wrong answer then if we move on to section b it also offers mcq questions 10 question of two marks each here there is no negative marking but the trick is it has no, the answers can be more than one like more than one answers are correct that means multiple options are correct in this section then moving on to section c uh, what is the meaning of that? Let me explain you briefly. So here there would be no options provided. You have to type the answer and there will be only one answer to every question. So it offers 10, uh, it offers 20 questions. 10 questions fall into one mark category and another 10 questions fall into two mark category and there is obviously no negative marking. Uh, so every section is tricky as we see. First section is tricky because it has negative marking second section it is tricky because more than one options are correct then third section is tricky because uh, there would be no option provided so you have to be very very careful in order to attempt the right question sorry in order to yeah attempt the right question yeah so if we see the cutoffs so i have included five last previous five years uh cutoff this year i didn't have solid yeah. resources solid resources so there is not very much difference in 2024 2023 and 2022 ka marks in general category but there is a drastic difference we can see in 2020 uh the general category because this was the covid year so we see a major difference in this year only but you can have a look in the cutoffs. So moving on to the important topic that you shouldn't be skipping if you want to uh, clear the cutoffs. But if you want to score a rank, then no topics you should be skipping. You should be covering each and every topic that has been provided in the syllabus. So 50% uh, of the paper it is covered with the biology questions, uh, which mostly cover these topics if you can see 20 percent of the paper is chemistry 10 to 15 combined questions we can see that is of mathematics and physics 
and analytical uh, techniques that is the practical techniques which we, if we can specific that is 10 to 15 percent so you can take a screenshot of uh, this page So moving on to the top colleges that offers MSc Biotech. So first of all, we have here is IIT Bombay, which has high closing rank that is AIR 72, 120 for general category. Then we have IIT Delhi, which offers biotech course and its closing rank is top 150 for the general category again. And then we have IIT Roorkee. I didn't get the exact closing rank so i didn't include but we can also expect this to be around 150 only so moving on iit madras if we see we can expect a closing rank of 180 then iit kharagpur i all of course the same as rupee let's assume top 150 then we have iit guwahati 250 closing rank for the general category, then we have other noble institution including IIS Bangalore. Uh, this is the top, like uh, highly competitive. Then we have NIT that is 500 to 1000, and IIT Akla is very famous, and uh, it offers courses, MS courses, biotech and life sciences. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more bio-related content.